by a single downpour. The rain lasted for close to four hours, and this was what Delhi and its neighboring areas were reduced to. Severe waterlogging at major points across the city, bringing traffic to an agonizing crawl and causing massive traffic jams. We got stuck up in traffic from last one hour. Please stop this rain. Too much of traffic, waterlogging everywhere. It's like four, four feet water everywhere. The rain did not spare Delhi's internationally acclaimed IGI Airport. Also, flooding it in a matter of minutes. Though fortunately, flights were not affected. The city's lifeline, the metro, too, was hit. Waterlogging forced South Delhi's Malwa Nagar station to be shut for a while. However, the PWD had a ready explanation, maintaining it's been doing all it can to prevent widespread disruptions. According to a statement issued by the PWD Minister Raj Kumar Chauhan, local factors such as polythene and garbage getting stuck in drains play a major role in reducing the capacity of stormwater drains. We have deployed our manpower to take care of such exigencies. It has no explanation, however, for the reason that experts give for chaos that visits the capital year after year. When the rain comes, improper road surfacing, choked inlet points of storm drains, massive construction of roads, flyovers which have damaged the alignment of drains. An NGO which has filed a PIL against water logging last year says it's lack of accountability that's responsible for the mess year after year. Everything is so topsy turvy. Neither magistrate wants to do their work, which they have been assigned to do, nor the uh, MCD wants to do their work. When there are 60,000 people, I do not understand why, uh, why they are not doing. Now, unless the people are punished for non performance, they will not do that. One and a half hours of rainfall to put the entire national capital off gear. One and a half hours of shower only to expose the city's choked underbelly. Water logging seen not just on roads, but in houses, even metro stations. Traffic jams like these across the city. This monsoon, yet again, has exposed how unprepared the national capital is for the rains. In New Delhi, Sonal Mehrotra for NDTV. One more casualty on Mumbai's pothole roads. The axle of Yadav's auto rickshaw snapped, costing him his day's earnings. Luckily, he survived. One of the worst stretches, this road in Mumbai's western suburb of Goragaon East. One has to look hard to find bits of roads between the potholes here. Earlier this month, a scooter has died. A short distance from here, losing balance, trying to navigate a two feet wide pothole. Even flyovers, ill-maintained, the pothole on the busy Dadras flyover, not fixed since a month. Every year, the BMC promises citizens of Mumbai pothole-free roads. Every year, Mumbai cars are let down, leading citizens to ask the question, where are the crores of rupees spent on maintaining roads going? This year, a huge 50 crore was allotted to fix potholes. BMC's own pothole tracking website says there are nearly 8,000 potholes on Mumbai's roads. In the next two years, 1,970 kilometers of the corporation road will be made new roads. And all the roads will be free of potholes. All the bridges will be done with resurfacing. It claims to have switched to the new technologies and penalized contractors. But on the ground is the same back-breaking and potentially killer ride for Mumbaikers every monsoon. With Saurabh Gupta and Miloni Bhatt, Vijay Kumar for NDTV. So waterlogged roads, traffic snarls, collapsing infrastructure. When it rains, is it just too much to expect our civic infrastructure to deal with it? Well, we're going to try and see what the situation in Delhi is and what it is in Mumbai as well. Uh, joining us from Mumbai, Prelad Kakkar. Thanks very much, Prelad, for being with us. Lieutenant Colonel B.B. Sharan, he runs an NGO, Nyai Bhumi, and has focused extensively on the lack of infrastructure in Delhi to cope with water logging, potholes, all of that. Uh, Sudhir Vora, architect and urban planner, joins us uh, as well. Thanks very much, Sudhir, for being with us. And Vani Tripathi, National Secretary of the BJP. We expect Dr. Kiran Walia to be with us 
uh, of uh, the, the Minister of Education, Social Welfare and Child Development in Delhi in a little while from now. Vani Tripathi, let me come to you first. You know, it doesn't really matter which party is in power in Delhi. If we focus on Delhi to begin with, when it comes to civic infrastructure, it's always a mess. When it comes to desilting um, the drains in the national capital, we hear the MCD year after year, decade after decade, saying it's all been desilted. But then when it rains for two hours, that's the end of it. It just turns out to be one colossal lie, in a sense. What can any party really do about it? No, really, I mean, uh, Vishnu, I must uh, put this in perspective of what horrific memories today what happened in Delhi with the waterlogging. I was myself stuck on the road for four and a half hours and it actually brought me horrific memories of the deluge which happened in Mumbai.